Well, it also appears the Western New York region is still on track now to begin phase two of reopening next week. That's great news. Take a look at the hospitalization numbers here. These numbers show that as of just yesterday, there are now 162 total hospitalizations in the Western New York region. That is down two from Monday. A downward trend that continues in the right direction as far as reopening is concerned. Now, we know that professional services like salons are part of phase two, but what are the rules? As Tony Side Steve Brown explains now, business owners that have been closed for months are still kind of in the dark. We've had more calls in the last two and a half months than I think we've ever had. Salon co-owners Michael and Jennifer Giambra have returned over 800 messages while getting ready to hopefully get back in business Tuesday if if state government greenlights phase two of reopening the Western New York economy. Just one small catch. Have you gotten any guidance about what phase two is and what you should do that's different than phase one? No, we haven't heard anything specific to our industry. Because Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration has not produced the new rules that might come with phase two. Two on your side has been told they are being drafted and are expected to be released soon. Apparently, the Erie County Executive has heard something similar. We expect any day now uh, New York State to release the guidance for businesses in phase two. So the Giambras and owners of other phase two businesses, which include professional services, are busy putting together state mandated reopening plans based on phase one standards, which include mask use and distancing. We've had to change the hours of the salon to make sure that we don't have too many people in the salon at one time. That was one big change we've had to make as far as um, having our staff work in shifts rather than all together. Giambra says added hours of operation will increase his costs and may be reflected in increased prices. And if there are new phase two rules, he says those will be added to the reopening plan he's already put together. And already, there are questions like this one from Ethan Powers of the B newspapers to Mark Polling Cars this afternoon. Uh, do you have an idea as to when the task force would be able to publicly make a decision on entering phase three or when that decision would come? Uh, I like your attitude, Ethan, but let's get to phase two first. But what concerns Poland Cars and Hochul and lots of area business owners is what may have happened over this past Memorial Day weekend. Did lots of people gather, forget their distancing, maybe not wear a mask because that could lead to more spread of the virus and more hospitalizations and a very short lived phase two, a return to phase one and the Giambras being back out of business. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.